وأجل مسمى عنده ثم أنتم تمترون وهو الله في السماوات وفي الأرض يعلم سركم يعلم سركم وجهركم ويعلم ما تكسبون وما تأتيهم من آية من آيات ربهم إلا إلا كانوا عنها معرضين فقد كذبوا بالحق لما جاءهم فسوف يأتيهم فسوف يأتيهم أنباء ما كانوا به ما كانوا به يستهزئون. Today I'm here to tell you that if you don't forgive then woe to you the day you stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You see many of us we tend to think that forgiveness is an option that I have that if I want I'll forgive but if I don't want brother I'm gonna hold on to this to the day of resurrection. You see my brothers you know what I love about the Sahaba? The Sahaba were real people. Many of us, we like to praise the Sahaba so much so to the point where we start painting this picture like they never did anything wrong. Well, you're very wrong. Sahaba did a lot of things wrong, but that's what was beautiful about them because they made mistakes. Then the way they dealt with their mistakes is what makes them so special and so unique. One particular incident. After one of the battles, there was booty of war, gold, silver, swords, shields, stuff like this. So the Sahaba gathered, there's a lot of it, it's money. So they started sharing their opinions as to how they should distribute this wealth. And please don't listen to the story for the she entertainment of it. Live the story, brother, try to imagine. I'm not sharing with you Walt Disney fairy tales. These are real stories of your fathers. So the Sahaba, each man gave his opinion. Then Abu Dhar gave his opinion on the matter. Then the next person was Bilal radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Bilal is the mu'addin of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Bilal not only used to be a slave, but an Abyssinian slave, meaning he was black. So when Bilal gave his opinion, he says, Abu Dhar, I disagree with you. So Abu Dhar, imagine being put on the spot in front of everyone. He says, even you, ya Bilal, even you, you son of a black woman, even you're going to disagree with me today. These are big words. 